Welcome back to my little channel. Now, I didn't want to make another COVID video for some time now because you know what? I, I really had enough of it. Um, those that want to believe that COVID is a deadly disease and it will scour the world and everyone will die, they're set in their belief. They, they won't, or most likely won't change their belief. And then there are those who think that COVID is completely made up, which is also not true. And then there are people that will tell you that COVID is about as bad as the flu. Now it's different than the flu, it is, but I really believe, and I think the numbers show this to be true, that COVID indeed is very much like the flu. Its death rate isn't much higher. Mind you, it's not a lot lower either. Um, it's slightly less contagious than the flu it seems and um, it's especially deadly to older people with comorbidities that means you are old and you have several diagnoses like heart disease or lung disease um, and for those people covid is a problem yeah it definitely is i'm not trying to deny that for those people the flu is a problem now in my previous video i showed the numbers obviously the numbers have changed i mean there are still people dying from covid because we're in the middle of a covid pandemic mind you we never saw these numbers when there was a flu pandemic going on so trust you me people we are being made afraid and um it's it's easy to see why because if we look at most countries in the western world now bloody hell there are countries out there that basically tell people to stay indoors in in, in the uk and most western young countries they say well you should stay one and a half meter apart and yet still you're not allowed to sit outside in the sun because it's a beautiful day no no you should stay indoors yeah, but wait a second if i can sit in the sun one and a half meter away from everyone else why the hell shouldn't I be able to sit outside? Yeah, but, but, but COVID, wasn't the one and a half meters supposed to be a solution to that? Why won't you listen? Well, I guess that's why. But there are certain things in this whole COVID thing that, that pisses me off, though. I mean, the World Health Organization actually lied to us. Um, we believe them because we weren't prepared to consider them lying to us and we're paying the price for that china actually lied to us china bought up medical supplies as much as they could and are now sending faulty medical supplies to countries in the west that are hit by this coronavirus and because of the lockdown nearly all western countries will have an issue when the time comes because Hey, you know what? If you tell people not to go to work for a certain period of time, the economy is going to suffer. And you know what the funniest thing is? If we look to countries like Sweden, Sweden basically isn't telling people to stay home. Sweden is telling them, you know what? Use your brain. Keep yourself clean. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Yeah, I mean, if you don't have to go outside, yeah, don't go outside. But if you want to sit in the sun, sit in the sun. And somehow, Sweden isn't doing worse than most Western countries. Now, Italy did terrible, but then again, in Italy, people being told at first that it was racist to consider it a problem. So go out and hug a Chinaman instead of you know what maybe this is something to be careful about don't blame china don't blame chinamen well you could blame china but don't blame chinamen but um keep safe spain i didn't know why spain had this massive outbreak of corona but now i know because there were a few massive football matches <laughs> people went because nobody told them not to apparently France, which had a few massive demonstrations because of the feminists. Yeah, you know, there's a reason why most Western countries say, 
let's not go to massive events. But the worst of it all, I think, is the fact that China has been lying to us from the very start and still is lying to us. And instead of the Western countries thinking for themselves, they are driven on by fear. I'm not quite sure why, but I do know that fear is a bad advisor and somehow our politicians seem to have forgotten that. Or, and this is also true, maybe the politicians didn't forget it. Maybe the politicians are applauding it because this whole COVID thing well, let me put it like this. There are some draconian laws going on in the Western world at this moment, aren't there? And uh, if anyone would have said four months ago, oh, yeah, well, don't forget that uh, coming April, you're being locked in your house and you can go shopping, but um, you can't go out for a walk or you can't go out for fun. We would have said, oh, yeah, sure, mate, pull the other one, got bells on. But that's where we are now, aren't we? I've linked a bunch of stuff showing how China is buying up medical supplies and giving faulty supplies to Western countries. Hell, America sent medical supplies to aid China. And now they have a problem. In Australia, Italy, Spain, all these countries have a problem because of China. But um, don't forget, don't call it the Chinese vi uh, virus or the Chinese disease because that means you're a racist. <sighs> Never understood why a nationality and a race are equivalent. But that's not the topic for today. I've got a few links for you downstairs. Gary also made a massive video on um, how the news covers. <laughs> Every news is being covered at the moment. Link is obviously there for you to enjoy i it's brilliant i should have made it i should have th thought of it but i didn't and therefore props and respect to gary awesome like share and subscribe if you feel so inclined this video doesn't have a lot of information spoken but hey you know what i post a lot of information for you to read basic bottom of the line storyline we're being played people and it's not for our benefit. Anyway, criticism as always is more than welcome and I hope to see you all next time.